3.2, calculate the value of items purchased for the year ended 30 June 2018. Now, these are the inventory systems. Yes. So the inventory systems, we have the periodic and the perpetual. Yes. So in the in the perpetual, um, in that one, um, it's like a continuous, like continuous point of sale, like something like that. So meaning that exactly at the time when the business is saying is saying the trading stock, the business knows yes. that how much trading stock do they have left. Yes. And then we have the periodic, where. Uh, the trading stock is only de determined at the end of the year. Yes. Okay. So let's do it. The purchases of the trading stock. We are giving the stock uh, was on hand on the 1st of July 2017. So this one is not about the purchases. And then we are told stock costing 773.225 was purchased during the course of year. Right? So these are the purchases. Yes. Seven seven three two two five. These are the purchases. What else did you buy? Let us see. Return to the suppliers. Amount minus two. return. It's minus minus thirty thousand. <laughs> because the, the the purchases they are decreasing, right? Yes. They are decreasing. Like stock is going down. Yes, the stock is going yeah. down. Uh, but then notice this, when the debtors are returning the goods back to the business, the purchases, yes. they are not affected. Isn't it increases? I'm saying, uh, like right now, the business is returning um, the stock to the suppliers, right? Yes. Meaning that the purchases, they are decreasing. Yes. So right now I'm saying that, when the debtors are returning the goods back to the to to us as a business, yes. uh, the purchases they are not affected. Oh, okay. Yes, because you need to remember that um, in the periodic, the cost of sales they are not they are, they are only calculated at the end of the year. Oh, okay. So meaning that if if we were to uh, record the a stock it is being returned by data to the purchases it will mean that we would have to find that how much was the good price of those uh, of that uh, of those goods returned by data yes yeah and then letter d the owner donated stock costing 800 to the local municipality to use as a price during the june Beach Festival. Yes, minus 800. Minus 800 because the trading stock is decreasing. Decreasing. Letter E. 12,400 was spent on the transport needed to get to, to get the stock to the business. So, so plus 12 plus. So, um, in the periodic, oh. in the periodic inventory system, um, in the purchase account, in the purchases account, we only record the movement of stock. Oh. Only. So the transporting cost, we record it when we are calculating the cost of sales. Um, okay. Oh, oh, oh. So, you, so you don't add it to the purchases account? No, we don't. Because the, okay. the purchase account, it only records the movement of stock. Okay. Even, even, though it, even though it records the movement of stock, but when the business is, sell, is selling the trading stock, or when the data are, reta are retaining the, the trading stock, the purchases, they are not affected. I was together. Yes, I get this. Good. Um, so this one, you skip it. And then, a further 1,400 worth of stock was taken by the owner for his son's personal use. 
minus 4 minus 1400 1, right and then the physical stock take at the end of june revealed the stock on hand there are 1650 minus 31600 no that one no. Oh. does not affect the purchases uh, why isn't that the stock that was not used um this the purchase account like i said this one it, yeah. it records the movement of stock when the business is buying the trading stock or when, oh, or when the business is retaining the stock back or when the business is donating the trading stock or when um the owner has taken the trading stock for personal use only okay yes so uh, so can you please tell me that again so i can write it down on my book for the purchases oh you want oh the purchases yeah you were saying uh it's for uh, can you please say it again so i can okay. write it down in my accounting book okay okay the purchases account yes first it records the movement of stock but then only if the business is buying the trading stock or when uh, wait, this is buying stock is uh? or when the business is retaining the trading stock back to the suppliers yes or when the owner is donating the trade i mean or when the business is donating the trading stock yes um or when the owner has taken the trading stock for personal use okay that is uh, that is uh what you call it personal use isn't it's like uh forgot the thing okay i said uh the purchases account it records the movement of stock right yes I got the cost uh, movement of stock, uh, buying trading stock, returning trading stock, owner donating trading stock, owner taking for personal use. Yes. And okay. then, did you write that the donation? Huh? Donation. Uh, do, yes. Okay. okay. The owner donates the trading stock. Uh, yes. They take it for personal it, use. Yes, I wrote all of that. Okay, good. It's fine. It's fine. Only you record that is what you record there yes only that okay. um so and then it, when it comes to because right now we are done with, we are done with the purchases account yes how much is this uh I'm doing it on my calculator. It's seven six eight zero double five. Seven six eight zero double five. Yes. Okay. And then now we are told to do the trading account. Oh yes, I'm very confused about the trading account ish. I always mess this up. Okay. So yes. First. The trading account, this is an account that is being used to calculate the gross profit, right? Uh, so, uh, so there was, uh, when the adjustments, they said that there was stock at the beginning. What do you do with that? We record it to the trading account. Oh, okay. Yes. You can't include it in the purchases? No, no, no. Like I said, okay. like I said the okay. purchases, it records when the, the trading stock is being bought. Oh, okay, okay. Yes. So, so, so that one is just a trading stock at the beginning of the year. It's not a trading stock being bought. Okay. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah. So, the first thing here is that the trading account it is being used to calculate the gross profit. Yeah. So, to 
calculate the gross profit, you must say sales minus cost of sales. Yes. Right? So in the trading account, so our year ends when on on uh, February. I mean on when does it end? On June. June. Twenty eighteen. June twenty eighteen. June twenty eighteen. So this is dated June. June twenty eighteen. Okay. So in the trading account, what do you record in here? Um, uh, the sales on the, I mean, cost of sales on the de debit side, and then on the other side is sales. Yes, yes. But, 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 but then in the trading account, I mean, but, yes. then, but then in the periodic, we don't have yes. the cost of sales. We need to calculate them. Oh, yeah. It's opening stock plus purchases plus carriage and purchase, purchase of custom and other expenses. Yes. yes. Yeah. So in the trading account, so on the debit side, you need to record the opening stock, meaning that the stock at the beginning of the year. Okay. And then you also record uh, the purchases. Yes. And then you also record the carriage. Carriage. Yes. Or the transporting cost. Okay. And yes. uh, also the custom duties here on the debit side. Yes. And then on the credit side. Sales and closing stock, I think. It's a it says in a closing stock, right? Closing stock and the sales on the debit side. This is what you, you report in the trading account. So I think it's sales first, then closing stock. But yeah, yeah, it's, it's it won't be a problem. There's no problem. Okay, okay. There's no problem. Um, the opening store, I mean, the, the purchases, we just calculated them. Yes. They are um, 758,055. Right? Yes. The and then the stock of 28,575 was on hand at the beginning of the year here. This is the beginning of the yeah. year. Meaning that this is the opening stock at the beginning of the year. 585. I mean 575. So this is... So is there a reason why there's cost of sales on the on that side and then sales on the other side? Or like, can we just learn it like that? Is there a reason why we are, why we are recording the, um, the cost of sales? Cost of sales, on the yes. Uh, yes. Uh, actually, it's just, it just a, a rule that's on the debit side of the trading account. We must report the cost of sales. Okay, okay. Yes. And then... The carriage on purchases, how much are they? Carriage on purchases. The transporting cost. 12,400. 12,400. And, and it, it was only this, right? Yes. And then the closing stock. I don't think they had, I don't think, I don't think they had custom and all of that. Nah, they're not here. Yeah. And then the closing stock on hand. Right, it was 31,650. 31,610. 50. 50. And then we are, we are giving the sales. Yes. But I think that they returned or something. Yes, they, they, they just they returned the goods. Yeah. So we know that when the debtors are returning the goods, there is an account that is created that is called the debtors allowances. Remember it? Yes. So the debtors allowances they decreases your sales. Yes. So meaning that you must come here to your sales and decrease them with that debtors allowances. Four thousand. Yeah. Four thousand two hundred. So this 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 is just like when you are doing the 
income statement. Yes. So how much is this? It's one million two hundred and thirty thirty two nine hundred and sixty. Two hundred and thirty eight. Oh, thirty two. Two thirty two. Two thirty two. Nine sixty. How much? Nine sixty. Nine sixty. No, sixty six zero. Oh, nine sixty. Yeah. Sorry. Okay, like this. Yes. And then now, um, the trading account. So we we have to find. Um, obviously. Uh, gross gross profit. Gross profits, right? So yes. this is a profit and loss. Also, uh, gross profit falls on the profit and loss. Um, if you can remember in grade ten, when we are doing yes. the, when we are doing the profit and loss, when we are doing that trading yes. account. After finding the gross profit, we were sending it to the profits and loss. So that is that is why oh, yeah. that is why I'm writing here profits and loss because the gross profit, I mean the gross profit must be must be sent to the profits and loss. Oh okay. Uh, like under the income statement. Yes, even under income statement it must be there. Okay. So actually, actually that the trading account it's, it's, it's the first part of the income statement where they are saying sales minus cost of sales. You got what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah. So you can see that the bigger side here is a debit side. Yes. How much is it? Uh, It's one two six. One two six. Four six. Four six. Six. One zero. One zero. Yes. So we equate both sides with the bigger side. So then, how much is the difference? I'm just minusing the. Yes. The debit side. Yes. It's four, four, triple five, eight zero, eight zero. So this is your gross profit. Uh, then from the purchase, the purchases. Uh, I saw the member right now. It's zero two five. I don't know how they got that. It's a, it's a purchases. It, yeah, I saw the thing now. It's a uh, it's seven eight zero two five. Yes. I don't know. Maybe we made the mistake when we were calculating. Okay. 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 Yeah, I'll find it. Okay. Okay. So I think from here uh, the paper is finished. Yeah. It's yes. It's finished. Okay. So it's fine. Yes. So it was really helpful. Okay, thank you, thank you so much. Yes, even your videos on the on 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 the internet very really helpful. I was looking for it, the the periodic and all of that really helped me out. Okay, so yes. please please kindly share with other learners who might need someone to help them. They'll yes, they have 